Railroad Museum of Oklahoma is located on 702 North Washington Street in Enid, Oklahoma. The museum is open Tuesday through Friday 1 to 4 and Saturdays 9 to 4. The museum was non in, was incorporated as a nonprofit in 1977 by a group of dedicated volunteers. The Railroad Museum of Oklahoma has set up residence residence in the old Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe freight warehouse in Enid, Oklahoma, officially opening the doors to the public on was April 1989, just located located just across the street from the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe passenger depot. The freight building was in a sorry state when renovation started in the late 1980s. Many months and hundreds of hours of work later, the building and its interior began resembling a museum and the rail yard began to take shape. The museum located in the old freight building is an active part of Enid, Oklahoma community life. It Contains a collection of dining car china and silverware, electrical signaling, equipment, and a large, a large library of reference books, photos, and videos, as well as a large operating HO N scale and Lionel model railroad. Also, the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe freight station was built many years ago, around the 1900s, and was used for freight to be loaded and unloaded on the freight trains many years ago, then restored later on to be used as the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma. Also, the museum even off, sometimes offers caboose excursion rides as well and its annual spring excursion from Enid, Oklahoma to Okeen, Oklahoma. Okay, you could see around in here there's some switch locks. A lot to see in here. China plates and picture frames. Pretty cool. So much to see in here. Let's look around here. And right here, and right here, here's a Colombian type. Some cups. Some chairs. Wow. There's some, and here are the more china plates there are. Wow, here's a picture from the museum. And also, telegraph keys. Okay, okay so walking around this room, there's some schedule board. And there's Thomas the Tank Engine checking his way to Vitaville, USA. Lots of pictures. And here's a, excuse me, sorry. And here is train. There's some lanterns they have here. It's 1522. Grand Canyon? No, it's Frisco 1522 again. Sister of the steam engine that lives at this museum. And 3751. There's a lot to see in here. <laughs> wow, interesting. And look at all these pictures, railroad logos, and such, and parts for a steam engine, trolleys, <laughs> a lot on the wall above there, lanterns, so much to see. <laughs> and here's a luggage cart, here's some model railroads, and there's a bell right there. 
here's some Lionel trains. And here's so much to see. Okay, gonna be shown the model railroads. Here's a Lionel model railroad in the exhibit area. And that's it. Looks like a circus train. A lot to see. <laughs> Here's an HO model railroad. Doesn't that look pretty cool? Going mountain tunnel. And looks like it might, yep, might go down. They're over. Yeah, figure eight style, it looks like. And here's an N scale. Looks like, no, 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 it's Z scale. Whoops. I don't know if this one runs. Oh well. <laughs> here's an N scale model railroad. Pretty cool. I like this. Yep, we can't go beyond this door. No way. Because it says employees only. They probably don't want us to be touching anything in here. Here's an HO on this end. And here's so much BNSF. Wow. Pretty cool in here. Burlington Northern 9... 68186 was built somewhere in the 1900s and is a baggage car. Burlington Northern 968186 was once used on passenger trains carrying baggage inside the baggage compartment and also inside the baggage compartment and also was used on as a as a railway post office car as well. This car was painted in a Burlington Northern green one time and then it was last used on the maintenance of way tool car as a maintenance of way tool car of course as it had Burlington Northern frame stencils indicate that indicate it was a former Great Northern the former Great Northern 600. Then later this coach was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma where it is today. Frisco 1281 was built by Pacific Car and Foundry, which was for Burlington Northern in 1978, and is an extended vision steel caboose. This caboose was originally built for the Burlington Northern Railroad as Burlington Northern 12181, and was used behind freight trains on the Burlington Northern Railroad as the train crew's office many years ago. This caboose, then this caboose was renumbered as Frisco 1281 and the caboose however was never owned by Frisco. Then later this caboose came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma where it is today and also it is even used for the caboose excursion train as well. And it's disguised as Frisco 12881. What you see right behind me is Northern Pacific 1142. Northern Pacific 1142 was built somewhere in the 1900s and is a wide vision steel caboose. This caboose was originally numbered as Northern Pacific 1147 then renumbered to Northern Pacific 1139. 
then Northern Pacific 10147, and was used behind freight trains on the Northern Pacific Railroad many years ago, and trans then transferred to the Burlington Northern Railroad as Burlington Northern 10308, and was used behind freight trains on the Burlington Northern Railroad is the train crew's office. Then it was renumbered to Northern Pacific 1142 and it was never numbered 1142 in the past. It was given the number when it came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma where it is today. And also it is even used for the caboose excursion train as well. Missouri Kansas Texas 132 was built like around the 1900s and is a wide vision caboose. Missouri Kansas Texas 132 was used on the back of freight trains when used for the Missouri Kansas Texas Railroad at, as the train crew's office. Also, Missouri Kansas Texas 132 was also painted red one time. Then, Missouri Kansas Texas 132 was retired in 1989, and like in 1990 or a year earlier, came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. And also, it is even used for the caboose excursion train as well. Union Pacific 253-23 was built by the Union Pacific Railroad in 1955 and is a CA-6 class all-steel caboose. Union Pacific 253-23 was used, once used on the back of freight trains many years ago as the train crew's office. Then, this caboose was renumbered to being Union Pacific 27 27 23 in 1961. Then Union Pacific 253 23 was retired in 1989 and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. And also, it is even used for the caboose excursion train as well. Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 999-567 was built by American Car and Foundry in 1972 and is a CE9 class steel caboose. This caboose was originally numbered as Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 999-979 and was used on the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railroad on freight trains as the train crew's office many years ago. Then renumbered to Illinois Northern 1641 and used on the Illinois Northern Railroad and required through the merger and rebuilt in 1978. <coughs> and renumbered is 999-567 and still used on the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe. Then later, Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 999-567 was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. And also, it is even used for the caboose excursion train as well. Northern Pacific 42272 was built like, I think, in 1945 and is a 40-foot boxcar. This boxcar once hauled cargo such as boxes, rolls of paper, or any other products it may have hauled many years ago and was used on the Northern Pacific Railroad on freight trains and even mixed freight trains or even freight trains with boxcars many years ago. 
Then later on, Northern Pacific 42-72 was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. The Wanda Lee coach was built by the St. Louis Car Company in St. Louis, Missouri in 1954 and is a passenger car. This car was originally built as an Army Medical Service car as and numbered as 89526, then rebuilt by Amtrak into a Le, Le Pub bar lounge car as Amtrak 3406 to be used on the Montrealer Montrealer when the pub and dance floor were removed Amtrak converted it into a cafe <coughs> lounge car then later on the coach was retired and then came to be part of the railroad museum of Oklahoma and Enid Oklahoma and the car is also numbered 3100, I think it had that number before coming to the museum. Also, the car was refurbished and repainted, then named in honor of the museum's director's late wife, Wanda Lee Campbell. Also, the car is preserved at the museum today, and you can even walk around inside the car and check out the inside of it as well. Railroad Museum of Oklahoma No. 1 was built by General Electric around the 1900s and is a 50-ton center cab type diesel locomotive. This diesel was originally owned by the Chevrolet Motor Division at Tonawanda, New York. Then worked at the Vulcan Materials in Wichita, Kansas. Then this locomotive was donated to the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma and repainted blue and numbered one and given the road name as the museum's name. Also, this diesel is used in the museum yard just moving equipment around and even pulling the caboose train sometimes. What you see right behind me is Conco 50,000. Conco 50004 was built in 1931 and is a 40 foot boxcar. This car was originally an Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe automobile car from the Ponca City, California refinery operation. Then later, the car was transferred to Conco as Conco 50004 and hauled cargo inside, around inside, such as boxes. Then later on, Conco 50004 was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. Missouri 
Missouri Pacific 13724 was built sometime between 1977 and, and 1978 and is a transfer caboose and a class a CA33 class caboose. Missouri Pacific 13724 was once used as a transfer caboose for the Missouri Pacific Railroad and Union Pacific Railroad many years ago and used as a maintenance of way piece as well. Then in 1991, Missouri Pacific 13724 was cleaned up and placed on display at Yukon's Best Railroad Museum in, in Yukon, Oklahoma. Then in 2000, Missouri Pacific 13724 was sold to the Railroad Museum of Northwest Railroad Museum of Oklahoma <coughs> in Enid, Oklahoma and used for the caboose excursion train as well. Southern Pacific 4646 was built by Pacific Car and Foundry which was for only Southern Pacific and is a C57 class bay window type caboose. Southern Pacific 4646 was used on freight trains many years ago on the Southern Pacific Railroad as the train crew's office. Then later on, Southern Pacific 4646 was retired and came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today, and also it is even used for the caboose excursion trains as well. Also, the caboose was once painted brown and is currently painted in a, col a gray color. Burlington Northern 12433 was built somewhere in the 1900s and is a wide vision steel caboose. Burlington Northern 12433 was used behind freight trains on the Burlington Northern Railroad many years ago as the train crew's office. Then later on Burlington Northern 12433 came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today, and also it is even used for the caboose excursion train as well. Champlin Refining Company. 724 was built in 1953 and is a single dome tanker car. Champlin Refining Company 724 was used was once used on in the Champlin Refining Company facility hauling liquid inside many years ago and had been used to used on freight trains going to somewhere for a destination. Then later, Champlin Refining Company 724 was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. What you see right behind me is Frisco 5921. Frisco 5921 was built somewhere in the 1900s and is a hopper car. Frisco 5921 was once used on the St. Louis San Francisco Railroad, Frisco for short, carrying gravel or coal or maybe sawdust or rocks inside or ballast when being used on the fr freight trains like mixed freight trains or a train with hopper cars. Then later on, Frisco 5921 was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. Frisco 
Frisco 100,008 was built in 1951 and is a flat car. Frisco 100,008 was once used on freight trains many years ago on the St. Louis San Francisco Railroad, Frisco for short, and also hauled cargo such as timber, lumber, and even road vehicles as well. Then later on, Frisco 100,008 was later retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. Frisco 162-739 was built in 1930 and is an outbraced boxcar. Frisco 162-739 was once used on freight trains many years ago and was used to haul cargo such as boxes on board and any other cargo may have hauled in the past and was used on mixed freight mixed freight trains or just even even just on a freight train with just box cars when being used on the St. Louis San Francisco Railroad Frisco for short then later on Frisco 162 739 was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. Frisco 1519 was built by Baldwin in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1925 and is the 586 steam locomotive built by that factory and is a 482 mountain type steam locomotive and is a 1500 class steam locomotive. Frisco 1519 was used for freight and passenger service. Also, it is one of many Frisco 482s that were built by Baldwin. The first batch of 15 were numbered from 1500 to 1514, built in 1923, and the it is one of the the ones numbered from and this one is one of the ones numbered from 1515 to 1519 and built in 1925. And the last 10 numbered from 1520 to 1529 and built in 1926. Also, Frisco 1519 was designed to haul passenger trains but were mainly assigned to heavy freight runs then Frisco f then in 1959 Frisco 1519 was retired and was donated to the city of Enid Oklahoma and put on static display in Government Park Government Government Springs Park actually Government Springs Park in Enid, Oklahoma, where it was seen on display. Then in 2002, Frisco 1519 was moved to the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is seen, on, seen today. Also, Frisco 1519 is one of six surviving Frisco 482s left in the world today, and 1519 can be found here at the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid. And whenever you're visiting the locomotive, you can, as well as the, the museum, you can even visit the locomotive's cab and sit where the engineer and fireman used to sit and even ring the locomotive's bell. Conco 190 was built somewhere in the 1900s and is a three-dome tanker car. 
Conco 190 was once used for the Conco company hauling fuel around, and this car was once used on freight trains like it might have been on a mixed freight train or even a tanker train many years ago. Then later Conco 190 was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma where it is today. Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 412-23 was built in 1953 and is a 40-foot boxcar. This boxcar was painted in a pre-Burlington Northern merger scheme. Also, this boxcar was once used on the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Railroad, used on freight trains many years ago and all ago hauled cargo. It may have hauled many years ago. Then this car was transferred to the Burlington Northern Railroad and used on the Burlington Northern Railroad many years ago. Then later on, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 412-23 was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 41402 was built somewhere in the 1900s and is a 40-foot boxcar. This boxcar served the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Railroad for many years and was put on freight trains, was used on freight trains, I should say, and hauled cargo. It may have hauled many years ago, such as rolls of paper, boxes, and all others it may have hauled. Then later on, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy 41402 was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today. Trailer Train 120002 was built around the 1900s and is a piggyback flat car. Trailer Train 120002 was once used on freight trains for many years, hauling semi-trailers. Also, it was even seen being used on freight trains like Burlington Northern Santa Fe, CSX, Norfolk Southern, or Union Pacific many years ago. Then the car was retired and then came to be part of the Railroad Museum of Oklahoma in Enid, Oklahoma, where it is today.